What's going on, family? This is Chris Rock with Media TV, and I'm going to be coming to you with this news. Family, if y'all want to uh, email me some stories, you can email me some stories at peaceofchrisjoe at yahoo.com. Or you can email me at firemanpvc at gmail.com. If you want to donate to the PayPal, you can donate to the PayPal at firemanpvc at gmail.com. So, family, we're about to get into this video right quick about LeBron James. So, family, y'all let me know what y'all think uh, at the end of this uh, regular season. Do you think LeBron James will leave Cleveland? And where do you think he's going to land? Where do you think he's going to land? Because I think he might land either in San Antonio or Philly. Uh, because the Rockets, I don't really see him going to the Rockets because what you have to think about is if LeBron James go to the Rockets, they're going to have to th deplete their whole bench for three max players. You got James Harden on a max contract. Chris Paul, he's about to sign his max contract next year. And then you got LeBron James. If you're going to bring all three of them, you may have a few, maybe two or three shooters, but you won't. You'll have to get rid of uh, Clint Capella. you have to get rid of either Eric Gordon or uh, Trevor Reza. You know, which is, you know, Trevor Reza is a defensive player, which you will need of guarding uh, Golden State because you're going to have to. You know, the three going to have to cancel uh, each other out. LeBron James going to have to cancel out Kevin Durant. Uh, Steph Curry going to cancel out Chris Paul. Uh, James Harden going to have to cancel out Klay Thompson. So you got those three. And then you're going to need somebody to have to cancel out Draymond Green, which is a, a hard, you know, defensive player or whatever. So you have... Either have Trevor Reza, uh, uh, Bob Mute, or uh, PJ Tucker, but you know a couple of them are gonna have to go if you bring in LeBron James. But if LeBron James go to San Antonio Spurs, which you have Kawhi Leonard, Lamarcus Aldridge, and then if you add in another superstar, LeBron James, then that's enough fight power, and then they have quality, high power pieces, you know, to go up against Golden State. And knock them, knock them down. Wish they have bigs and small, you know. And then if LeBron James go to San Antonio, he could prolong his career at a high level, you know. He don't have to be uh, mentally fatigued of you know carrying the whole team because you always still have Kawhi Leonard and Lamarcus Aldridge. So I think that'll be the best choice for him to go, or he can go to Philly and play with Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, but. Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, they're going to have to work on their game this whole offseason because Ben Simmons got to work on his mid-range game because he just don't have no kind of shots. You know, he's a nice uh, facilitator. He don't, you know, if it's not within 10 feet, 10 or 5 feet or something like that, you know, he's just not going to shoot it because he has no shot. So he had to work on his mid, mid his mid-range game real hard this uh, off season. You know, it's not going to be, you know, overnight. He's not going to be a, a mid-ranger, you know, overnight. But he had to work on that way better than what he did this past year. Joel and B had to work, work on his mental toughness, uh, staying healthy because LeBron James don't want another Kevin Love, you know, going into the postseason, you know. Because you know how uh, Joel Embiid, he's very, very injury prone. But you need somebody that can be with him and uh, make sure he's doing his job as well. So, family, y'all let me know what y'all think about um, these two or three teams. The Rockets, Philly, and San Antonio. Y'all let me know who y'all what y'all think uh, where LeBron James is going to land this offseason. And y'all smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'm out.